Hey y'all, welcome to Avery's Apron. My name is Avery and today we are going to be making this crispy, spicy, delicious hot honey chicken sandwich. You guys, hot honey chicken has been everywhere, okay? It's been on TikTok, it's been on Instagram, it's been on YouTube, it's been everywhere. So I, of course, decided to hop on the bandwagon, okay? And I am making hot honey today, hot honey chicken today, but I decided to do it um, as a sandwich. So here are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using for today's recipe, and we are going to get started. So I am starting by seasoning my chicken. Um, as always, all my exact measurements and ingredients and everything are down in the description box below, so be sure to check that out when you are ready to give this a try, okay? But these are some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I've already cleaned them and given them like a nice little trim with my kitchen shears, got rid of the excess fat and everything. And now I'm just seasoning them with some basic seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, okay? I'm gonna give this a good mix, make sure everything is nicely coated. I'm also gonna season these with some Tony Chatteries, um, Cajun seasoning I forgot to do that at this point okay which is why I used to be going in with hot sauce but um, yeah I'm gonna go in with my Cajun seasoning seasoning as well and then I'm pouring over my favorite hot sauce we use Frank's Red Hot at my house you can use whatever hot sauce you want but we are just gonna marinate this in that hot sauce for at least 30 minutes okay I ended up doing mine for about an hour but at least 30 minutes um, but yes I'm just gonna give this another good mix now that I've added my Cajun seasoning and I'm gonna set this to the side and we are going to go ahead and season the flour. And for my flour, I am going in with the rest of that seasoning blend that was in my bowl. And then I'm just going to add um, some cayenne pepper as well as all the other seasonings that I used to season my chicken plus celery salt, okay? We're gonna give this a good mix. This is actually a mixture of all-purpose flour and cornstarch, okay? So it's like two parts flour, one part cornstarch. And I'm just giving this a good whisk to make sure everything is well combined. And yeah, we are gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna show you um, how I make my hot honey. For the hot honey, um, I'm just going in with this full bottle of regular honey. I'm going to go in with a couple dashes of cayenne pepper, and I'm going to throw in this whole habanero pepper, okay? I'm going to cut a little slit in it um, just to make sure that the honey can really become infused with that habanero, but I'm just going to stick this pot on the stove over low heat, and I'm just going to swirl it every so often just to make sure that nothing is burning in the bottom of the pan, um, and yeah, just to make sure that everything is well combined, but the honey is just going to become infused with the heat from that habanero, and it is going to be absolutely delicious, okay? But I'm just going to set this on the stove and I'm gonna get my buns ready for my sandwiches. So as you just saw, I'm using brioche buns today. Um, obviously this step is optional, okay? You can totally just do that hot honey sauce on regular fried chicken or baked chicken or whatever you choose to do. But like I said, um, I decided to go the chicken sandwich route, okay? And I kind of wanted it to be like Chick-fil-A style, okay? I love the spicy chicken deluxe sandwich from Chick-fil-A. It's like one of my favorite things to get. So I was kind of aiming for that situation, okay? So I'm using these brioche buns. I'm just buttering them. I'm going to pop them under the broiler for about five minutes or so until they get nice and toasty like so. Voila. Okay, I'm going to set these to the side and we are going to get ready to start frying up this chicken. All right, so my chicken got to marinate in this hot sauce for about an hour. Um, and now I'm going in with a couple of eggs, okay? So I went in with one and gave it a mix and I decided I needed another one. So here I am adding the second one. I'm gonna give it another good mix. And the egg is just gonna uh, really help that breading to stick to our chicken and give the chicken a nice crispiness when we fry it. Okay, 
right, so now that everything is nicely coated in that egg and hot sauce, we are gonna go ahead and start um, breading these, okay? So I've got that seasoned flour that I mixed up earlier. I'm just coating my chicken in that flour, okay? I'm only gonna show you a couple pieces because we all know how to do this part, right, okay? We're just gonna make sure everything is nicely, evenly coated. We're gonna set it to the side until all of our chicken is um, coated, and then we're gonna head over to the stove where our oil is already um, heating up. I've got it over medium heat and it's gonna be nice and hot and ready to go when all of my chicken is breaded. All right, so real quick, before I start frying my chicken, here is my hot honey. At this point it had been like, maybe like 20 minutes or so, and I just did exactly what you saw. Every few minutes or so I go over, grab the pot, swirl it around, make sure everything was looking good, nothing was burnt, and just set it back on the heat, okay? And it is on low heat. Again, you do not want it to boil. Just to simmer and steep and get infused with that heat from the habanero, okay? But here, my oil is nice and hot, like I mentioned, and we are just laying in a couple chicken thighs at a time. Um, you know, I fried these for about uh, maybe like 15 minutes or so, okay? About eight minutes one side, seven minutes on the other side, just until they were nice and golden brown and crispy. flipping my chicken I did check on my honey again okay just gave it a nice little swivel all right to make sure everything was looking good and set it back on the heat uh, but at this point after a few more minutes my chicken was ready to come out of the grease it is beautifully golden brown so crispy and that is from both the egg and that cornstarch we added to our flour okay but we are just draining this um, you see me putting on paper paper towel sorry but don't worry because I did end up transferring it to a wire rack so that it would not get soggy all right don't worry it's okay but here it's time to build our sandwich all right and here is that hot honey okay I'm just drizzling it over my finished chicken I steeped this in total for about um, 45 minutes just while I was frying my chicken okay but it doesn't really take this long okay it may be like 15 minutes or so as soon as it comes to a simmer um, it's basically done okay but definitely give it a taste before you um, drench your chicken in it okay I tasted it and to me it was a little bit too sweet so I did go in with a couple dashes of my favorite hot sauce it had a nice heat at the end of it from the habanero but the initial bite of it was just too sweet for me so I went in with the hot sauce to kind of give it a little bit of acid to cut that sweetness okay you could also go in with a little bit of vinegar if you wanted to but it's totally up to you okay just taste it and adjust it to how you like it okay but as I said earlier I was going for a chick-fil-a style sandwich so I went in with a little bit of mayonnaise some lettuce tomato and pepper jack cheese okay and there you have it you guys I'm also going to build one for my dad here, okay, because he is my taste tester for this video. Um, he just wanted mustard, lettuce, and pepper jack cheese, so that is what I gave him, okay? Um, and that is it for today's recipe. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, okay? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and stay tuned to the end because my dad is going to give you his honest review, all right? I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Dad's got his. Your bread is a little extra toasty. <laughs> but I know you like it like that, so. Okay. Yep. Crunchy. Crunchy. How's the heat? Can't even tell now that you got the bread and the mustard and the cheese. I didn't drench it, I drizzled it. Can you taste it? Yep. Steep the habanero in it. Hits you in the back of the throat, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Is it too hot? <laughs> That's a good.
Wow. Right. I added uh I ended up adding a little dash mm. of hot sauce to the sauce. Because yeah. it was a little too sweet. I mean it ain't hot hot. It ain't hot hot at all. It just but you can feel a little heat. You can get the heat sensation. Yeah, habanero. Mm. All right. So what do you give it out of ten? Since Clint's not here. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Wow. Yeah. A 10? That's good. Wow. That's steaming, too. I see. Mm. All right. Thanks for trying it. <laughs> ah, one more bite for the camera. Yep. It's good. Mm. <laughs>